Hello my beauty caterpillars and today we are doing a project, not project, uh, January to February's empties. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the video. I have in fact colored, or not colored, dyed my hair to be like a ready purpley cone. It's called char charcoal fuchsia is the color, but it coincidentally very much so matches with the sweater I'm wearing which is, in fact, a Harry Potter sweater. I love it. I found it at Walmart. I think it's great. I've been, like, rocking it for weeks. Because uh, <laughs> I just recently... I'm still going through it. I'm on the sixth book of Harry Potter right now. I'm currently re-reading them actually well. I think I read up to, like, the fourth book when I was, like, in elementary school, high school age, and then I was like, these books are way too long, and I stopped. So I'm listening to the audio version of them and I'm on like book six and I am back to being, not that I was never not obsessed with Harry Potter, I loved Harry Potter, but we're watching the movies and I'm reading the books again and so I was just like, when I saw this at Walmart, I was like, I have to get my Harry Potter because I've never had, like I had Harry Potter pajamas when I was like in grade two, but anyways, total tot, total side tension here. Well, let's get into my empty video. I just wanted to give you guys kind of an update as to what happened with my hair because I was no longer blo blonde brown with the blonde like the caramel on the ends of it. It is now like this pinky not pinky purpley reddish color. Um, so yeah I'm just experimenting with my hair right now so that's fun. So speaking I don't actually have the box of I don't actually have the box of hair dye. That would have been sorry to throw away empties, but I got rid of that, so whatever. Um, I used up this Pantene Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner. I love this stuff. It, I use it as a detangling spray. It works really, really great on my hair. Um, I've just repurchased a new bottle of this. I've gone through countless of this one. Um, I don't know. I really like the Pantene the, um, detangling spray, so I've just been kind of using that. Um, Although I'm sure there are other detangling sprays that work just as well. I do really like the Pantene one. I just found that it worked for me. So I just keep buying more of it. I used up this Dial Hibiscus Water Hydrating Body Wash. I like the smell of this. I have repurchased this stuff, I think, before. Um, Dial's a nice body wash. It does a great job cleaning my skin for me. I really like it. I used up my Garnier... Skin Active Micellar Water. I can leave a link of this down below. I freaking love this stuff. It does a great job taking off my eye makeup. I put it on a cut round hole in there about 15 to 30 seconds. I don't know what this movement is. Um, apparently I'm very just like today. Uh, 15 to 30 seconds. I don't know what that was. Oh my god. I am just like eh, buzzing I guess. Um, but yeah, this is my favorite, favorite eye makeup remover for taking off my eye makeup. I find it works the best and it's the easiest that I don't have to rub my eyes at all, which I love. And especially because right now I'm using a waterproof mascara, I need a waterproof eye makeup remover to get it done. It's the two-in-one, you shake it. I've gone through so many balls of this. This is my like holy grail eye makeup remover. Love it. And it's super cheap too. Under 10 bucks at the drugstore, so it's great. This was in a project pan and a product I want to use up for the past couple of years. I think it's my 2023 one. I believe it was my 2022 one. But I have finally used up this bad boy, the Freeman's um, Hydrating Glacial Water and Pink Peony Gel Cream Mask. I am unable to find a bigger version of this at the store, which is unfortunate. But I was able to find a little baby one in the dollar store, so I bought that. But yeah. I like this stuff. I am sad that it is gone because it is a really nice hydrating overnight mask. I used up this Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I did not actually like this. The first time I used it, I did, but then the more I used it, I realized it made it so that my makeup just like 
was not sticking to like this part of my face or this part of my face. Basically wherever I put the primer on, it made it really difficult to want to stick to my face, which is supposed to do the opposite effect. So I would not repurchase this. I know a lot of people love this one. I know a lot of people say there's like the e.l.f. Hydro Grip Primer. That's a dupe for this milk one. Um, so if you're interested in it, you can try the milk one. Like instead of not trying the milk one, but the e.l.f. one. But I was not a huge fan. This was also in a project pan. It is now done. Obviously, that's why it's in my empties. I used up another holy grail product. This is the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist with hyaluronic acid and oats. Um, I love this stuff. I've gone through so many bottles of it. I use a hyaluronic acid, then I spray this stuff on my face. It's just really light and hydrating and feels really nice on the skin. And yeah, it probably doesn't do a ton for my face, but I just really love it. I love the sprayer on this. Like I said, I've gone through so many bottles of it. I'm not currently using it because I'm trying to use up other stuff that I got from The Ordinary and I miss it. I love this stuff. It is super hydrating and I am sad that I'm not using it right now, but I love the sprayer on this. Not that there's anything left in it, but it's got a really nice, like just a fine, good mist on it. I love it. I have used up my Ordinary Nicetamide 10% plus Zinc 1% and the Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% solution. So I have two different size bottles. I have finished both of these. I miss not having something to help with my acne. Luckily it hasn't been super crazy since I ran out of this like a week ago. But um, yeah, I'm not sure which one I like more. This is more like, I have a review of the aquatic or aqu uh, aquatic aqueous solution of the salicylic acid. That shit sucks. <laughs> I like this one way better. This one is way less oily on the skin. Um, I have a review them and I'll link it down below. This one's a lot nicer. This one's more to the original, um, the salicylic acid solution, but I don't know if this one comes in a 60 ml bottle or not. Cause if it does, I might repurchase that one. If this one comes, this though, the Nissan Mine one definitely comes in, um, in a 60 ml bottle. They're both for like helping with breakouts and stuff. Um, so if you're looking for great salicylic acid, this one is amazing. It's under like $10. It will not break the bank. It works really well. I do actually like the Nicinamide one as well. Um, I just, I like both, they both work really well. I, but if you're really looking for something more like acne prone, like if you've got a lot of active, like a bunch of breakouts, maybe try the salicylic acid one. I think this one's good for, I forget what it does, but this one says a mineral blemishing formula as opposed to this is an acid for blemish prone skin. Either, both are really great. I both find that they work really well on my skin anyways. I finished up this Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Press Moroccan Oil Argan Oil for daily support formula for hair and skin. I never use this on my skin. I just used it on my hair um, before I washed it, like an hour before I washed it, I put oil in it just to try to help with the hydration too. And then I put a little bit on the ends of my hair while my hair was still a bit damp to help with hydration as well, especially after dyeing my hair. Although, thanks to the new shampoo I found, because my hair would have been so, so thirsty right now, it still feels so soft. Not quite as hydrated and soft as it was pre-dyeing it, but for dyeing my hair, not having to use bleach on it, washing it out without shampoo, it has definitely done wonders for my hair. My hair would have been like, the Sahara Desert right now if I had added my old shampoo, especially with the Pantene I was using. Oh girl, my hair was so thirsty. So bad. So bad. Um, but yeah, anyways, this one was in a uh, products I want to use up in 2023 and it is officially done. So I will not be repurchasing this one most likely just because you don't get a lot. And I think the Moroccan oil from OGX I get more and lasts a little longer. So I'll probably be purchasing that one, but we'll see. I have used up this Marco Budescu 
um, drying lotion. I ran out of all the liquid in there. I've put the liquid in there again. Like I put, I know, the, I'm pretty sure the liquid's just like it has isopropic alcohol. So I just threw isopropic alcohol back in there and used it again. But now it is all out again. So I think it's just, it's probably expired and past the time I should be using it. So I opened up my Kate Somerville one. This stuff is really, really good. This and the Kate Somerville one, I really like it. If you've got um, zits that don't have the active like white head on them, they're just like the raised bumps. These ones work really good for that. The ones that work really good for the ones that have the active like white head on it are the pimple patches. But if you've got like those craters that you can't pop, this stuff is amazing to help like get rid of it like the next day or reduce it in size and stuff. I recommend putting that on night at night because otherwise you look like you got like pink toothpaste all over your face. I've used up three chapsticks. Nobody is surprised. I used up two of the Nivea vanilla buttercream one and one of the Nivea essentials. I go through chapstick like crazy. So no one should be surprised at the fact that I've gone through three of them in two months. Well, we're like a week into March, so I just finished that one. So that one technically could have stayed in the the March empties, but we're just throwing it in here now. I used up this secret aluminum free deodorant in real vanilla. I do really like the scent of this stuff. I still have not been able to find my most favorite natural deodorant at Winners. I might have to start looking online for it. I don't know how more expensive it is, but um, this one you get 68 grams. The ones with like the secret ones actually have like nice smelling um, Scents than the aluminum free deodorants. A lot of the other aluminum free deodorants, natural deodorants, don't have like a vanilla scent, which is vanilla is my favorite. It was really nice. I did enjoy it. Um, helped me stay not super stinky. So that's good. Someone's walked by my house. My guard dogs are going off. I used up this little sample size of the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior 2-in-1 moisturizer, plumping moisturizer plus serum. It says it's supposed to reduce the 100% showed improvement in the look of wrinkles after one use. I didn't notice any improvement on my wrinkles whatsoever, but it was a little sample size and I think a project template I wanted to use up, as well as the Cetaphil Hydrating Eye Gel Cream. This is definitely not a gel. It is definitely a cream. I'm not a huge fan of this. didn't like the consistency of it. I wanted more I like a gel under my eyes than a cream. I didn't like that. Trying to get out of the packaging was not fun. I used up this Natural Upper Canada's Warm Honey Nectar Face Sheet Mask. I think this is like the last sheet mask. I have a couple. It's a lot. I think I have one or two sheet masks left. But this is basically, I've had this for many years and it is definitely time to get rid of this. Same with this Yes to Morocco. Miracle Oil Prim Rose Mud Mask. I do really like this mud mask. I definitely had it for way too long and it dried out a little bit and wasn't as great as I remember, but that's also because it was super old. So definitely time to get rid of it. I used up this Lush Helping Hands little um, vat of moisturizer. I don't know if this was in a project hand pan or not. I can't remember if this is my project pan, but I used it up. It was really nice. It smelled really good, really hydrating. Just Lush is super expensive, so I probably won't repurchase it, but I've never got it again. It was really great. And then I used up the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer in the white shade. I am not going to be using the dark shade because um, the white shade got all over my face under my eye area and I did not like it. It was not easy to blend in. I am going to pass on these ones. Do not like. And then these two are the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit uh, Matte Lipsticks. They are just super dried out. I love this color and I love this color. It would look great with my hair. Um, but they are very dried out and like super difficult and old and just need to be gone as much as I was hanging on to them because I love the color. I put this on my lips last week and it was just like no go. It was so dried out. It was not good. 
So that is everything for the last two months worth of empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.